Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Lakshmi Gopal. It's a distressing and slightly surreal image. Bloodied, runaway army horses on the streets of London. Five of them bolted today after being spooked during a training exercise in Belgravia. It happened just after half past eight this morning. The horses were seen on Buckingham Palace Road and around the Victoria Station area before being filmed outside the Claremont Hotel on the Strand and then ending up over by the Limehouse Link in East London. My colleague Alice van der Kravi is at the Household Cavalry Barracks tonight. Alice, what more do we know? stay with that subject now because uh, the latest in our series of mini manifestos is next a chance for all the candidates vying to be the next mayor to give us their 60 second pitch and tonight it's the turn of Labour Party candidate and incumbent mayor Sadiq Khan. You probably remember the shorter working week being trialled recently. Well, now there's a pilot of a longer school day. A North London school is trying out a 12-hour school day and a ban on phones. They say it's to try to improve pupil well-being and communication. Megan Owen reports. Now, with just over three months until the Paris Olympics, Team GB has high hopes of winning gold in the canoe slalom. The team began preparing with a first training session of the season at Lee Valley this morning. Here's Chris Legg. Now, meet Rupert. It may have a face that only a mother could love, though I think he's quite cute, but this baby vulture is critically endangered and has been hatched thanks to a technique used for the first time at London Zoo. Matt Braveling has more. Tell you what, Rupert needs a winter coat because it may be May next week, but Lizzie, it still feels chilly, doesn't it? Well, I know what's happened. I mean, who broke the weather? <laughs> it's Not so me. cold, isn't it? Uh Lizzie, thank you. I'll be back at 10.30. Bye for now. <laughs>